Hello everybody! Watch this video to find out how to get all necessary information about your Mac, its technical specifications, system condition, and how to monitor its processes and view the event log. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Just like any other computer, your Mac may need a bit of your attention from time to time. We'll consider a few methods that help you to find all information required to make sure your device works as efficiently as it should. In today's video, we'll explore how to find your Mac specifications, how to monitor its performance, and how to quickly identify any system issues. For starters, let's see how to find the main specifications of your Mac. Do it by clicking on the Apple icon in the top left corner of the screen. From the drop-down list, choose About this Mac. In the window that opens, you can see general information about this device, such as its model, processor, graphics, memory, serial number, and the version of the operating system. To find more detailed information, including graphics data, click on More Info. You will see the following information – processor, graphics, memory, and storage. To get all the information about the network, hardware, and software, open System Report. This report gives you detailed information about every aspect of your Mac's hardware. It gives a detailed overview of the central processor – number of cores, frequency, cache, the amount of installed system memory, the system firmware version, and so on. As you go down the list, you can open details specifications for every piece of hardware installed on this device. Its Bluetooth model, the network adapter, NVMe storage, graphics processor and display sound devices, and Mac speakers. System memory, storage, and connected USB devices. In the Diagnostics tab, you can find information about errors and failures that your computer might have had. If you need to learn the IP address and the MAC address of your device, there is a network tab below that provides you with detailed information about your connections. You can see all the details by clicking on each line of this list. In the Software tab, you can find everything about the installed programs and extensions. View the file system repair log, the installer log and other logs on this list. System Report provides you with exhaustive information that can be used to analyze and solve various issues, or to upgrade and improve hardware elements of your Mac. Alright, now that you know where to find detailed information about specifications of your device, let's see where to look for additional system data. One of the key tools for that is Activity Monitor. It's an integrated macOS tool that offers detailed information about the system operation, current processes, resource usage, and other important things. You can find it by opening a launchpad, Other, Activity Monitor. Here are some of the main functions and features offered by Activity Monitor. The CPU tab shows processor usage by the whole system and by every single process. You can see the percentage of CPU load, the number of active threads and processes, as well as the information on the processes that consume the major share of all resources. The Memory tab displays how system memory is used by the operating system and every process which is running. The Disk tab displays disk system activity including data reading and writing. You can also see the information about every active process that is used in the disk system. This Network tab displays network activity, including sent and received data. You can see the amount of sent and received bytes, as well as the information on every active process using this network connection. 
The Energy tab shows you energy consumption, overall system consumption and consumption by process. Activity Monitor also lets you view and end processes, as well as save reports about the system's operation for further analysis. This tool is a powerful means of monitoring and fine-tuning your Mac. Also, you can view some specifications and system status with the help of the terminal. For example, you can use the command top to view the system load status. Top is a utility in Unix-type operating systems that provides a real-time dynamic view of the system load and process activity. It displays exhaustive information about current system performance and running processes. To start it, open the terminal. You can find it in the Applications menu. Run this command. As a result, you will see a huge chart that looks similar to the activity monitor. It displays CPU load for every single task. Type Q to exit. The one more useful command is IOSTAT. IOSTAT is the command to display the system input-output statistics, including the data on disk activity. This command is especially useful for, to monitor disk performance. To start it, run the following command in the terminal. Run the command without parameters to view the default statistics. Both commands, top and IOSTAT, uh, provide valuable data to monitor system performance and identify possible bottlenecks. Also, there are third-party tools to help you monitor your system condition. For example, you can do it with the help of a special utility called iStat Menus. To enjoy a more in-depth system monitoring, install iStat Menus from App Store. iStat Menus is a commercial tool designed to monitor your macOS system and provide detailed information about your Mac's condition, including CPU, memory, network and disk usage, as well as temperature sensor data. Here are some of the main functions and features offered by iStat Menus. Menu bar. iStat menus add additional items to your Mac's menu bar, where you can see current system information and quickly access various tool features. iStat menus displays processor load as percentage and provides information about every active process. You can see which processes consume most resources and can cause the CPU to be overloaded. The application displays how system memory is used by the operating system and every process which is running. You can see the total amount of available memory, memory used by applications and by the operating system. iStat Menus displays disk system activity, including data reading and writing. You can see the amount of sent and received data, as well as information about every active process that makes use of the hard disk. This application displays network activity, including sent and received data. You can see the amount of sent and received bytes, as well as the information on every active process using the network connection. iStat Menus lets you monitor the temperature readings for the central processor, graphics processor, and other components of your Mac. You can also view information about fan speed and data from other sensors. This app enables you to configure notifications to be displayed when certain values are exceeded, for example, in case of high CPU load or excessive temperature. It also lets you display information as graphs to visualize various changes over time. iStat Menus offers a multitude of settings and options to configure the information to be displayed and the application's appearance. It's a powerful tool for monitoring your Mac and can be useful for both ordinary users and and technical specialists. One more way to monitor your system status is viewing the system log. System logs in your Mac contain information about various events, errors, warnings, and other data connected to the work of its operating system. They can be used to diagnose issues, track various activities, and to get a general idea of what's going on inside your computer. In macOS, you can view system logs with the console utility. It's an app with a graphical interface that lets you access various logs. To start this utility, open Spotlight Search by pressing Command and Space and type Console. Then run the utility. In the left panel, click on Log Reports. It contains the following logs. System log which contains information on system events such as system startup and shutdown, software updates, kernel errors, and other system notifications. Installation log, which contains information about software installations performed on your Mac, including successful and failed installations, errors, and other related data. 
System logs in macOS can be useful when you want to analyze a problem, search for errors, monitor your computer's activities, and understand how the operating system works. They can be especially handy for developers and technical specialists, but also helpful for ordinary users when they look for a solution to a certain issue. Also, you can use the log show command in the terminal to view logs. This command will display the log event, beginning with the current date. It provides a pretty detailed and convenient way to study system logs in macOS. Here, you can view all notifications related to system errors. Alright, so now you know how to find as much information as possible about your Mac. Integrated macOS tools provide basic information, help you learn your device specifications and monitor various system aspects, from CPU and memory status to storage and network conditions. Third-party software like iStatMenus can extend the monitoring functionality by adding extra information panels to your desktop. They will help you to track temperature values, monitor the use of system resources, and receive notifications of any problems or issues. Regular system monitoring allows you to identify potential problems early enough and take action to maintain optimal performance of your Mac. Keep track of a system status to avoid nasty surprises and make sure your computer will work reliably for a long time. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave your comments under the video. Thank you for watching and good luck!